And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Sunday night spice stream. I hope you're all doing well tonight, my lovelies. Thank you so much for joining me tonight as we will be continuing with some more Baldur's Gate 3. How are you doing, my lovelies? Have you had a good weekend? I've had a wonderful weekend. Uh... <laughs> Hello everyone, hello! Oh, and Scarlet, I'm glad to see that you're here to make sure everyone behaves themselves. Hmm. I haven't had a glass of whiskey while I'm streaming in a good couple of months now, like since before October or something like that, because I only have like one drink, um, one alcoholic drink on the weekends. And I realized I didn't have one yesterday, I didn't have one like earlier today with dinner. So I'm going to enjoy a nice glass of whiskey while I'm streaming tonight, just just like old times. Looking effortlessly lovely today. I I don't know what it is about my makeup tonight, but I know it feels just like nice and blended in, nice and balanced, not too much, but just enough. So feeling extra good tonight. I've had a really great weekend, got to hang out with some friends and got to see The Boy and the Heron in Silent Night yesterday and it was awesome. I've heard amazing things about The Boy and the Heron and can I just say, I've heard snippets of what Robert Pattinson's performance as the Heron is like and someone on Twitter said this but they were so glad like with Robert Pattinson taking voice acting so seriously as he did for his role as the Heron. And it feels like for some, and then they remarked that it feels like he's kind of taking a Mark Hamill approach. Like, cause Mark Hamill started out, you know, Luke Skywalker and all that. And then he was cast as the Joker and then truly made that voice uniquely his own and put so much effort into working on that craft of voice acting, as opposed to big, like a list of celebrity is also in like voiced in this project, not going to name names. Cause I don't want to talk trash, but if I'm just really happy I'm just really really happy uh, that Robert is so passionate about this project and I can't wait to hear him in more voiceover roles uh, that would be absolutely amazing been sick all weekend just trying to get better I hope you feel better soon King Deadlock oh thank god for Zerk Boy I'm glad I'm not the only one <laughs> I didn't like I don't want to name names um, because I'm a voice actor and so I don't want to like stop shit or anything like that but you know who I'm talking about <laughs> hmm. but I am in a lovely mood this evening and I'm very excited for more Baldur's Gate 3 um, might lean slightly closer towards like two hours or so uh, tonight depending on how things go um, because I was thinking tonight we would go after uh, back to the prison, um, and we'll take Will with her, Will with us to see if we can track down where the worm is, um, because I was looking at what quests we still need to finish, um, and there's like some side quests, like we might see if we can look into what's going on with the hag and, uh, stuff like that, um, but we don't need to like go after to get more XP or anything like that, because we're at max level, um, so any like extra side quests we do, um, either just have to be like really, really interesting or like they're related to character quests. So we've done Astarians, we've done Gales, we need to uh, go to the House of Grief to uh, get Shadowheart's parents. I hope they're okay because we've been putting that off for a while, but we need to be prepped for that fight. Um, and we need to go to uh, the prison to try and find the worm. Um, what else? And take care of the steel of the foundry where the steel watch are being made. But that feels like we do that quest and then we go immediately to go speak to Gortash. Um, and see how things go with that. So that might be something that happens maybe next Sunday. I'm just thinking because I don't have like a ton of streams left before I go away on vacation. Yeah, so I'm, I might do a little bit of just like a little bit of planning in my head to see how things go. Um, or just kind of see how tonight goes and we'll take it from there. Because I have a feeling we won't get to the end of this game before I go away uh, for Christmas and New Year break. Um, hey, Talon, welcome back. How's it going? I've been busy, started working full time and it's unfortunately full speed ahead because of Christmas. So I've been shattered other than I've been good. Oh, Talon, I really hope you're doing okay. Like, people who work retail around Christmas, it's an absolute nightmare. So you have my sympathies. 
We will see. We will see. Charlie Mack, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. You are just in time. We were just getting started tonight with our nice little catch-in just to make sure how everyone's doing tonight, that everyone's having a good time. Uh, but welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. <sighs> but I've gotten uh, the last of my Christmas presents sorted because I was going to go out uh, on Saturday to go shopping around central London uh, to get what I wanted because um, it was just the one thing I needed. Uh, but when I was looking at it, it was miserable, it was raining outside, and I was thinking like, okay, if I go into London, I have to buy, like, the transport to go in there, then I need to get lunch while I'm there, and then I need to buy the thing, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna save money, I'm just gonna buy it online, I'm buying it well enough in advance that it'll arrive at my flat in time, so it's all good. Uh, now it's just the case of wrapping everything up, and now playing, um, Tetris with my suitcase to try and make sure everything fits. <laughs> Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So it's being London slash English outside. Indeed it is. It's gotten very cold. It's not like as bitterly cold as it does get in January. Um, I find like when it's right into the heart of winter, that's when it's like cold, cold. Uh, now it's actually quite nice. It's just mostly rainy, a bit uh, like foggy and stuff like that, but it's not icy, like super, super, super cold yet. Yes, I am heading back to Australia uh, for Christmas and New Year's to see my family, because I only get to see them once a year for the Christmas and New Year break, and I'm very excited about it, and because I miss my family a lot, and I always look forward to the very long flight um, that goes uh, back home. So I'm not flying out until the 20th, I believe. So we'll have like my normal, pretty much my normal schedule for the next uh, week and a bit. Um, and then like that last Sunday, because I fly out on a Wednesday, will be like my last stream for 2023. Um, also, I'm still trying to figure out when the best time would be to do my 50k Q&A to celebrate hitting 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I was thinking, because there is something that I'm working on behind the scenes that I wanted to show as a teaser uh, during that Q&A, but I need more time to work on it. So I'm thinking, like, don't, I'm not promising this, but I'm roughly planning in my head. I'm not taking January off making YouTube videos and streaming just so I can get up to speed with the new year, come back from Australia, get over my jet lag, get things moving for the new year. Um, celebrate my birthday and all that. So I might hold off on doing uh, my 50k Q&A stream until like the Sunday, like the, the Friday after my birthday, because then it's kind of like, it's we're celebrating 50k on YouTube. It's my Q&A stream. And then it's also kind of a birthday stream at the same time. Um, so that's kind of a rough idea of what I might have in mind, but don't guarantee me on that. I'm still figuring out if that would work with my schedule and all that. And then it's just, the, just the one stream, just, just the one stream in January. I think I can get away with doing that. <laughs> Because then it's also just like taking care of a lot of things at once into one big event and all the good things. So, are you guys ready for some more Baldur's Gate 3? Capricorn or Aquarius? Queen, I am, uh, I am an Aquarius sun. I'm a Taurus moon and a Gemini rising. Which says a lot about me. Hee <laughs> mm hee. -mm. What's your go-to Macca's order? Oh, good question. Um, to be honest, I don't really eat fast food a lot, if at all. Um, my usual go-to Macca's order is usually like a box of chicken nuggets uh, with sweet and sour sauce. The bigger the box of nuggets I can get, the better. Um, uh, a fries, like a medium fries, and like um, a strawberry milkshake or a Diet Coke, depending on how I'm feeling. Usually it's a, like a Diet Coke or a Coke Zero and then like a McFlurry that has like a caramelly kind of sauce or like um, uh, the chocolate bar that they mix in with it has caramel bits in it. I don't know, there's something about like soft serve ice cream and caramel that just, mwah, it's so good. Okay, good. Like there's appreciations of chicken nuggets in chat. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Ah, 
so what are your guys- what are you getting? What did you get for your Mecha's order? Hmm. But generally, um, nowadays since I've like really switched things up with my um, health and fitness and the food uh, that I eat on the regular, I can't really stomach like heavily processed foods as much anymore or just like a little bit goes a long way with me. Um, Cause then I feel like just heavy and bloated and I don't like the way that my body feels with it. And it's not like an allergic reaction. It's just that my, I just can't like tolerate it or like eat as much of it as I used to. Which is all very good things, um, but it's also why, like, I'm just more, like, I treat, uh, let's say, different foods slightly differently. So, like, I've reduced the amount of alcohol that I drink, I don't drink, like, a ton of, or I don't eat a ton of fast food and stuff anymore, but that's just my own personal preferences, because for me, I like eating fast food when I'm surrounded by friends, and we're all having a good time together. But that's just me. That's just me. Oh no, you're reminding me of a D&D game uh, where it was a one-off on the take of Acquisitions Incorporated module. We had a polymorph bank manager who went by the name of Nugget as a direct reference to Yakuza video game series. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, oh that all sounds so good. He. Um, but are you guys ready for some more Baldur's Gate 3? Because we need to uh, drop off uh, Karlak and we need to get Will. And then we need to go snooping around the prison. Hopefully Gortash won't get too pissed at us. So, you guys ready? Because I'm ready. And here we go. Alright, everything's looking good to go. Let's go find Will and Karlak. Because I'm thinking also, the armor that we got, the Hellgate armor, I might actually give that to Will. Um, oh, yes, because we did get the hammer. We should probably speak to with Lazel. Copper for your thoughts. Oh, this is interesting. How was it being in the House of Hope? Oh, thank the gods it's over, I say. My last trip to the hells ever, ever. I'm not going to mention hope because I still feel bad about it. I knew we'd make it out in one piece. Right you are. Got what we came for, and then some. Engines burning like a bat out of a Vernus again, though. God, I almost forgot how hot this thing is. But don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Probably. We want you to be okay, sweetie. Copper for your thoughts. Okay. I'm sorry. That sounds boring. I'm sorry. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. If I want to eat out, my go-to is often sushi. I finish a 30-piece plate each time. Honestly, sushi is usually my go-to, like, takeaway or delivery. Um, I, I love sushi. I really like sushi. Okay, Will. There you Left are. In my heart. Let's talk. That's the spirit. Hell yes. Also, I did give Will the, um... Defender of the people. Uh, the special uh, studded leather armor... Uh, armor. What? It looks so good on him. Looks amazing. It would be cool if maybe we got a slightly better die for it. Like, okay, because I did draw off some die when I swapped around his inventory. So maybe the ocean die would work. Oh, oh, let's go with that. I like the dark blues and the like kind of greens and browns and that. Okay, let's stick with that. Actually, no. The rest of his outfit needs to be changed as well. But, Defender of the people. Um, I'm still thinking about who would make the most use of the um, Hellbrand armor. Because that's really, really good armor. Shouldn't have wished to live in and I was thinking times. maybe Will could utilize that. Because you're, you're considered proficient with the armor while wearing it. When you receive a saving throw, the caster receives burning damage. And you have resistance to fire damage and cannot be burned. So Will's a human, so he doesn't have fire resistance. And also it makes sense with his fact of with Mizora that that armor in particular would work well with him. The only thing is you don't get any AC bonus from dexterity. But that's perfectly fine because it has like a 21... Uh, armor AC itself, so. Hmm. Also, as a warlock, 
needs a little bit of a boost, I think. Uh, and yeah, I was thinking of giving him the Helldust gloves as well, because that's a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls and spells safe DC. It's Warlock, Eldritch Blast is very important. Uh, your weapons deal attacks deal an additional 1 to 6 fire damage. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 6 necrotic. Um, and then it's just like stacking more fire damage with uh, his melee attacks as well. Because I think this will really suit him. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, Will. That looks amazing. Yes. I'm gonna leave you holding onto the sword of screams. We also need to go shopping for more potions. Hey, Spirit Wolf, how's you going? I'm doing very well. Um, actually, we need to level up Will as well, so let's take care of that. Mm. Okay, what's your Mystic Arcane? Uh, one level six spell, cool, cool. Circle of Death, Arcane Gate, I write Flesh of Stone, or Create Undead. Ooh, Create Undead could be really useful. Wait, Steph, do you have the jeans that makes cilantro taste like soap? No, I do not. No, I do not. And I would be really pissed if I did. Because I like me um, some uh, cilantro, uh, aka coriander, in um, guacamole. So I'm really glad I don't have that gene. I'm thinking maybe create undead because then it allows us to summon more allies to assist us. Like, Circle of Death is good, but that is like devastate the target and all surrounding creatures it's not great if there's enemy if there's allies in the mix sorry so i'm gonna go with create undead and let's pick another spell fire shield dimension door light Heart flight mm. Dimension Door could be useful, but... Mm, okay, what are your current spells? Got Cone of Cold, Flame Strike, Counter Spell. Why do we have no level 4 spells? We need to remedy that. Um, let's go with blight i think because dimension door can be good but will has limited spell slots so mm, and unlike gale so gale can cast it to like uh, he has got a lot more spell slots to be able to do that let's go with blight i think yes yes he needs some boots to go with it i don't believe we have picked up any boots. Okay, and another spell. Cool, cool. Gaseous form. Oh, let's uh, pick a Eldritch Invocation first. Oh, your melee attacks deal additional necrotic damage equal to your charisma modifier, which is plus four. That could be really good. Uh, that's using a war Warlock spell slot. The grave, confusion, polymorph, so. Mm. Let's get Life Drinker. Because getting that extra boost with the uh, plus four damage, uh, necrotic damage to each strike is very cool. Now let's go with Wall of Fire, I think, because it feels very appropriate for Will. And a feat? Hmm. What should we go with? Smells like a... I think maybe Warcaster, because I was thinking I should go with like the ability, uh, just ability booster just to get his charisma up to 20. 
So that would also work well with the Eldritch Invocation that we just picked. The Warcaster is also very good because it gives you um, advantage on concentration checks and then using the reaction for Shock and Grasp is also really good, especially Will as he's um, a melee fighter as well. So uh, when someone's like getting it, like when he has the attack of opportunity on someone, that could also really work. Ooh. And concentration spells he has is Hex and... It might just be Hex. Hex, Darkness, Vampiric Touch, Hunger of Hadar. So he's got just under half of his spells are concentration spells. So in that case, I might go with Warcaster in that case. Yes. Yes, let's go with that. Because he's kind of a mix between Dex and um, Charisma anyway. So, I'm happy with leaving his stats as is, but Warcaster, I think, is a good fit for him. Mm -mm. Well, let's quickly speak with Lazel. Maybe it'll bring us closer. Yes, the hammer is ours. The means to Orpheus' release is in our hands. To the Undercity, Vos must hear of our victory. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. And we absolutely need to bring Lazel for that. So, I have a feeling maybe once we speak to Voss, then that'll prompt us to then enter the Astral Prism to go confront um, or free Orpheus. But I want to proceed with that carefully and just time this right. So... I think maybe if we... Okay, we'll take care of the worm. We'll help Shadowheart's uh, parents. Then we'll take care of the foundry. Then confront Gortash. Then go to Voss with the hammer. Because I'm trying to do all the things that feels like we're tying up loose ends. Um, that m won't then jeopardize stuff later on. Because if we free Orpheus now, it could mean we don't have the protection... His protection that he provides. And then it starts like a ticking clock for us turning into elephants or something. Uh, free Orpheus. Yes, so we'll speak to uh, Voss later. We have stuff to do right now. Let's see. Fiend worship. I'm not trying to speak fine, yeah. Will, but... It really seems like a blatantly ill-advised idea. It's the furthest thing from my mind. Besides, I'm not going to cut the same scorched cloth. You're scared. Okay. Here we go. Let's head back to... Because yes, we need to head back that way. Uh, let's speak with Varna. Oh, speak with Laura, because that was about the hag quest. So let's go over and do that, maybe. And then we'll head to the prison, because it's right there. your child is missing? Yes. Her name is Vanra. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been sucking dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... <laughs> she was... <sighs> Fucking hags. <sighs> Taken from a tavern? Yes. 
The blushing mermaid down by the docks. I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? I'm listening. Tell me what happened. Excuse me, citizen, but if this is a criminal matter, it's my business, not yours. Shut now, up. Madam, if you'll just tell me why you're here, I'll take down the details. I think there's a hag in the city. This might be connected. A hag in Baldur's Gate? Preposterous! Don't scare me more than I already am. What would a hag home in my Vanra? She's just lost. That's all. What? I'm so afraid. And so tired. <laughs> been looking night and day everywhere I could. I've no family, and Vanra's father isn't around. A flame and fist were my last resort. Forget the fists. Tell me everything you know. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old, and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. Was anyone else with you? No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. You must have some witnesses, surely. Of course. The front of house, Boast and Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. I'll head to the Blushing Mermaid now. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stun being around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Will do. <laughs> So we might be fighting a hag later today. Also, I almost forgot. Will, the pride of the gate. you need... Where is it? Not Arms of Hadal. Where is it? Armor of Agathus. There we go. There we go. Let's move. wonder if the gods are watching me. Yes, I'm going to go to a different region. With haste. There we go. This is fine. Don't mind us, we're just wandering into prison. Again. Don't read too much into it, it's not like when we last came down here, uh, Council of Florix just suddenly disappeared. Shocking! Okay, and it was something about, let's look at the journals again, it was something about lighting, uh, a hint that opening the way involves light lightning sparks and torches. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. Okay, I'm looking for empty sconces and there's some over here. Well, there's one over here. Let's just get an old lightning arrow. Nope. If not over, then through. <gasps> oh, that looks promising. Dragon head torch. Oh, I wonder what that might be hinting at. Don't want to draw any attention. And then I wonder. Now, if I try with the lightning arrow.
Hmm. Do we need to be in complete darkness then? Hmm. doing right. There's something about sparks, but it didn't seem to have any effect. I've only got a certain number of these arrows, so I don't want to waste them. Let's look at it again. They're opening the way bulbs, lighting sparks and torches. Should have that book on me, unless I put it back in the trunk. Um, back at camp, which I, knowing me, I probably did. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. On the prowl. Or does Will have it? Apparently not. The blood. No, never mind. I should probably go shopping for more potions, but now nah, we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm going to do a quick save just so that then I can reload it if I go through all of my lightning arrows. Uh, you guys want, might want to down. stand back because I don't want to accidentally hit you with lightning. I've only got one arrow left. Okay, so let's load previous save because I want to hold on to those arrows. Um, hmm. What am I? Not, what am I not doing right? There isn't really anything else around here that I can look at. Just now to view. Be sneaky first. Take the wine. Anything else? Because I assume that this opens up. Because that has to be the point of entry, right? It's the only place like that has the dragon-shaped sconces. Let's have a little bit of a look around. Because yeah, even like the quest pointer on the map was pointing in that direction. Ooh, storage room might actually have something useful though. Ooh, do you promise? Useful around here? Ugh, it's rotten food. Boo! I was hoping for something cool. That looks more promising. Ooh, yes, please. Take all of those. Also, before I get, uh, before I forget, there was one thing that we did need to make in relation to that uh, hag quest. How was it? Hag's Bane, that was it. In the land of uh, Prismia, where fair Zablina reigns, they had their share of hag trouble. Oh yes, then they had they had in spades. Hags have a special predilection for children, the power inherent to innocence. Disrupting one of, uh, one of the consumption of that power could be cataclysmic for the hag. Making one of those and just holding on to that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else that's useful down here. Hmm. Yeah, I can't see any, any other dragon sconces. It's got to be here, but I'm struggling to think what it could be. Because, like, it's across these two, so I can't exactly do, like, 
a lightning, like, chain lightning across it. It, it makes sense that then, like, you would just activate... Or, like, fire an arrow at them to, like, make them spark up or something, but no. What's not going right with this? Hey, Game and Madness, how's it going? Welcome! Ah, oh, what am I do not doing right with this? Okay, let's get out of the way and see if I fire on the one that's on the left when it's a light, if that changes anything. Actually, no, I'm gonna quick save. There we go. Please, come on. There we go. I did it. I have to keep going. Mouse hole from worms rock cells. Oh, okay, so if you're like a druid or something you can wild shape to a mouse, then you can maybe come out that way. Okay. Everyone we don't need to hide right now. No one else is down here except for us and a dragon, apparently. Should mind my step. We're taking those. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, these are cool. I'll give it a shot. Is that Boulder himself? Is that Boulderin with a bronze dragon? Must have been quite an adventure. Boulderin and his winged ally admiring the fruits of their labor. The city itself. Boulderin sails away and leaves the dragon to watch over his city. Do the histories make mention of this? I'm a smart girl, I should know. The statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Balduran, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The palisades fall, the earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm. Deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent, should my domain drown in torment. Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no one and no savior. Shut up. Okay, I will see if I know what's going on. Yes. Now twenty. You sense neither life nor spirit within the statue. A powerful variant of magic mouth has been cast on it, allowing it to speak only recorded messages. I am worthy. Open the way. Ancient Ansor, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Okay, I want to check something. Was Will supposed to answer that? Okay, no. I just wanted to check just in case Will had to be the one to interact with the statue. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Two centuries walking the streets, and I never knew this was under them. What other wonders have I missed? I'll take that. Now we have all the time in the world to find them, my love. 
Okay, yes. Let's play as Will for a bit. Because I'm curious about this as well. Let's rearrange inventory just a bit. Okay. One move ahead. Yes, let's take let will take point on this. Oh, but it's so cool down here. There for the taking. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, gotta pass some trials beforehand, I assume. Prove your worth to the heart of the gate. Only then may you may enter. Okay, makes sense. Uh, let's do this one and... Let's just go in a general anti-clockwise direction. Let's see. Chamber of Courage. A champion burns bright, even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your courage. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. This is going to get interesting. This will do nicely. Oh, the water elementals. Okay. And good. Silesia's up next. Still on my feet. And I can fire lightning arrows. Shoot a lot of damage on them. Good, and Shocking Grasp is very good. And you will... Let's see, you're currently holding the torch. Do some Eldritch Blast, shall we? Who just needs picking off? Nice. nice. Finally, I can do Radiant Damage again. Good. And let's get a spiritual weapon here. Good. And no, everyone else is close to allies, so let's just take them out. Or try to take them out. Uh, let's hunt his mark them first. Okay, that's two.
Hmm. I feel like we could use those somehow, but I want to... It's going well so far. But I spot that Myrmidon back there. And let's get a little bit more distance. Damn it. It's fine. Closer. Good. Now we're silenced. This is fine. This is fine. Sometimes the only way out is through. Okay, come on. Uh, how long does silence last? Okay, it just seems to be an area of effect. That's fine. There's other things I can do in the meantime. First, Can't to let up. damn it, immune to poison damage. Okay, we just need to survive two more turns. They really don't like us. Okay, I have a feeling this is just like a marathon, so we need to be patient with this and do our best. Because, yeah, I think this is the last round. If we just make it to the end of this round, we should be okay. Uh, there we go. Come on, Will. Come on. Okay. So we'll need to last all of that. Oh, shit. Okay. So can we try that again at all? Or is that like, okay, you failed, it's you get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Hang on. 
Because, yeah, it doesn't seem that we can target those and it affects the terrain around us. Hang on. Okay, I was just seeing if that had any effect on the um, uh, electrical points. Yeah, I kind of feel like I want to try this one again. Because it's just about surviving a few rounds of combat. We should be able to do that. Yeah, I want to give this fight one more try. And then if we don't pass it, then... We will continue on. Okay, yes, that was the last save. Because maybe, because maybe in that case, it might be best if then Shadowheart is the one to hold on to it, because then. Uh, she's protected by the spirit guardians around her. That could also work. Just saying. No one back home will ever believe this. These boots have seen everything. And then, because they all seem to be attacking Will primarily. And even though he has the buffer of having um, uh, uh, arms of Agathus, it gives him extra temporary hit points. Still not quite enough, I think. Also then, um, because uh, Will's thing is also he uses uh, his weapon a lot, and holding onto the torch means you can't hold onto your weapon. So, let's give this a try and have Shadowheart hold on to it this time. Let's get on with it. A champion burns bright. Even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your courage. I will do my best. Okay, Starion. Let's move. Okay, let's see. I imagine because they are water elementals, only really lightning damage would work on them. That's fine. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Have to keep going. Spread out just a little bit more and get out of the water, actually. Good. We've got to put Hunter's Mark, that's fine. Cone of Cold, very good. Nice, and then let's get you out of the water. Shadowheart, let's just get you away from the water. And Spirit Guardians? And let's get a spiritual weapon up. Okay, let's try Spirit Guardians again, in a second. Come on. Nothing important is ever 
super easy. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe just move over here a bit. And maybe try and block the way for these guys a bit. This is my time. I'm ready. Okay, Shadow Heart. Let's do a high level cure wounds on yourself. Take you. There we go. And then she can just hold on to the torch while we protect her. Nice. Very nice. No choice but to keep going. Can't cast spells at the moment, but I can give you potions. Oh, invoke your pillacity will work because I can do that. This is fine. It was not fine. Jesus. Wow. Wow, this is difficult. So I'm not sure giving it to Shanna Heart would be what I need to do. Although, more enemies seem to come as we defeated the old one. So I wonder if we just withstand the first round of enemies, then that would mean that the other stronger enemies don't arrive. Hmm. Okay, I have elixirs of lightning resistance. Because I think we we lasted longer when it was Will holding it. Okay. Let's think about this. Because this fight is relatively short. It's only four rounds. I know I said if we failed at this time we would just continue. But I want to give this one more try. I think we just have to withstand it, like survive four rounds of uh, of this going on. Okay, hang on one second. That's a good question. I don't think I can jump onto the crystals actually, because the whole fo floor seems to be eventually like fully electric electrified, even if we're standing on the the dry ground. Oh, and then we have to deal with that. 
Actually, let's see what this is before I think about reloading a save. Just in case it's something like, oh, we too failed, but you have one more chance. And here I go. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh no, they just want to kill us. Great. Okay, in that case, I want to give this one more try. I want to give this trial one more try. We're level 12 now, we should be able to do this. What am I doing wrong with this? Questions of lightning resistance. I'm going to split those. I'm going to give one to Will and one to Shadowheart, I think, so she can hold concentration uh, better on um, Spirit Guardians. Because I also have arrow, an arrow, I think, of Elemental Slaying. Could be wrong. I have arrows, so that's what matters. <laughs> As I've scrolled lightning bolt. Okay. Okay, let's try and be smarter about this. Potion of feather fall, potion of mind reading. Give an extra potion to Shadow Heart. I don't think stealth would work because they they acknowledge you right away hmm. as soon as you um, uh, take the torch. But Will also has. Um, I'm ready. Whatever it takes. And let's get aid up, because then it gives us uh, an, uh, an extra buffer of 15 hit points. There we go. Okay. I'm feeling better about this. And let's... It feels like we should be saving this for later on, but this is a bit of a challenge. Uh, so let's summon a planar ally as well, I think. And let's get the gin, I think, because I don't think they technically touch the ground. I've got a long road ahead. Okay, let's give this a try. Done a bit more prep this time. Will, you're the one who grabs the torch. And then you stay close to Shadowheart and she can protect you. A champion burns. Take yeah, the we heard this, we heard this. Withstand the elephant. Okay, I'm going to position myself. Keep guessing. Well, Starin's going to position himself there. Hmm. You're not concentrating on anything, are you? No. No. There we go. You wonder if the gods are watching me. Get here. And lightning arrow. Hey Mike, how's it going? Just stopping by real quick to say y'all are awesome. I hope you're enjoying the game. Absolutely, Mike. I sincerely hope you're doing well. Um, I really, really miss you. And we should hang out sometime. Because you're amazing. Okay, let's get one of these elementals taken care of. Actually, no, let's just keep you... Mm. There you are. Thank you. 
And let's summon some more birds, perhaps. Shadowheart. Got to move. Right here. Spirit Guardians. And spiritual weapon. Double moving cost for terrain. It shouldn't why is it saying double movement cost cost? It shouldn't cost movement to cast spiritual weapon. Oh, okay, it's for the weapon that it takes more time to get there. Never mind. Okay, and will you get here? That's fine. It doesn't matter if you're prone. I mean, you get advantage, but it could, so it could be worse, but you're at least inside the circle. Nice. Nice. Nothing will stand in my way. Okay. One. Nice. Sneaky. It's fine. Nice. Okay, Shadowheart. Everyone's doing okay. So Sarin could be a bit better, so let's maybe help him. And let's cast Mirror Image on Will. Oh no, that's on yourself. Never mind. I'll get Will to cast that on himself. Fine. Already resistant to lightning damage. Finish resilience. We can also work with them. Hmm. I'll see what damage they deal in a second and then make you resistant to that. Gonna be okay, Saren. We got you. Okay, can't cast spells though. That's fine. Lose. 
come on, come on, come on. Okay, Starion's not doing well. Can I move you a bit further this way, Shadowheart? I don't want you to engage in combat. Can I just move you? Okay, it's still not enough to get out of the area where that's happening, so... Okay, there we are. At least the Starion's not dying. We just need you to stay alive, Will. And let's get you over here. Come on. God, there's so many of them. I just realized I had this spell, and that would kind of be perfect for this encounter. Ooh, fuck. Because then if we just put that up, keep whoever is holding the torch in the dome, and then they can't get any damage done to them, I'm not sure if then these guys would be able to then dispel that spell. Hey, Mocky J, how's it going? Gosh, One day. One day, hopefully, there'll be a collaboration with Neil Newborn in the future. Fingers crossed that happens, because that would be amazing. Stop killing all my birds! Please! What should I do? Okay, out of the zone. Which means everyone can get that. And Will, I'm going to give you an extra boost of cure wounds, and hopefully this is enough. Okay, now we just need to get to the end of this round. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Your courage is a beacon to meek and mighty alike. Whatever, uh, may you ever withstand the raging elements. Proceed. We did it, guys. It took a couple of tries, so thank you for giving me some grace for letting me reload my previous saves, but we did it. Oh, magnificent. Let's just wait for the lightning to maybe cool down uh, a little bit. 
I want to summon my bird back. It's not save scumming, it's save managing. Exactly. And in a game like this, I think we're allowed a little bit of grace. Nemesis Dinosaur, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Congrats on your victory. I wouldn't have done it without you, my lovelies. Thank you. Did I pick that up? Here we go. Journal of Past Adventures number four. A lance war trial. A bloody lance war trial. And the ground shakes crystals fall when I can hear the rushing of metal against rust. If this is the end, let's be my record. Then we must run. Sounds like they weren't quite up to scratch. Oh my gosh. Because we're amazing. Okay, that was one. Let's go do this one. Better not be cursed. God, I hope not. Oh, this is the Lance Ward trial. Okay. You've made a crown. King, Queen. Is this Lance Ward? Hmm. Can we just jump over that? We need to fear some damage. Stay idle. Can you smash through this shadow heart? Maybe. There we go. Oh. Okay. So if you smash those crystals, you get resistance to all types of damage. Good to know. For next time. God, had I known that, I would have made that previous fight so much easier. But now you know, my lovelies, for when you get up to this part. Never a dull moment. This is fine. Another step forward. Okay. I'm not the best at chess. I know this is last board, but it's chess. I'm not the greatest at chess, but I will endeavor to try. Prove your strategic wits. There is but one rule. The Dark King must fall in two moves. Okay. Are you a commander of armies or a shivering pawn? Fodder for cleverer minds. I'm afraid I have little experience with Lanceboard, let alone the command of soldiers. Okay. So, that's the king. Because if this moves like regular chess, the natural move that I can see is the rook moving forward to the end and then to the right um, to take out the king. Well, that seems too easy. Um, huh. That was strange. What went wrong with that? Okay. So that wasn't right.
Okay, let's give that a try. I'm just glad it restarts, resets quite easily. I think moving the queen was the right move, but the rook is easily taken by the king then. Why did that not work first time? Let me just try that again. You are lesser than a pawn, lower than a grub in a battle with which you are fated to fail. Oh, thanks. No, that's bullshit. Let me give this another try. Okay, come on. You're looking for a checkmate in one, I think. Yeah, it says uh, the king need the black king needs to be taken in two turns. So, I wish there was like a way that we could like have our characters roll an intelligence check, maybe to get a hint. But you know what? Say, lovey, I'm gonna give this my best shot. Proof there is, but are you a commander of? I'm afraid I have little experience with lanceboard. We will do our best. Okay, let's give this an another try. Because it felt like it was the right choice to move the queen into position, but then the. Uh, the king moves down and diagonally and then would take the rook when we move. But the pawns are tricky. Should we then move the queen diagonally, force the king to the side? But that, that's the thing, all of our other pieces, because we're playing as white, um, all our other pieces are tricky because they can only move forward one space like the king can only move one space at a time pawns can only move forward once like progressing to the other side of the board so it feels like it's the queen and the rook that needs to be the ones who are the main movers like it's not necessarily an overhead view that I need because I'm kind of already being able to see everything quite clearly It's all right, Salva Holder. Let me just give this another try myself. Here we go. And I'll try something I didn't do last time. Again. Yes, you, you say that. Okay. What if I just move it there? Checkmate. Let the next chance be your last. Let's try here. The black endures. You are lesser than pawn. Thanks. In a battle of wits. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with this. Because it, it definitely feels like the Rook and the Queen need to be the ones who make the main moves, but I'm struggling to think of what I'm doing wrong. I rolled to chess. Because, like, it feels like this challenge is about strategy, not necessarily, like, there's a, like, you, you beat the shit out of the king piece, and that counts as a victory. Let me very well see if I can interact with it. Or what happens if I try to interact with it. Yep, can't interact with it. So, this has to be, I have to use my actual human wits about this. Okay, there is a trick involved. Okay. So we need to make the Black King fall. I wonder what the next move is. Well, can I just try smacking the shit out of it? At least things have stayed interesting. Nope.
What am I missing? Okay, guys, this is gonna be the whole stream. All, like, an hour and a half of me just staring at this, like... Okay. What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? I wish I had my a Queen's Gambit moment and I could just track this all in my head and figure this out, but... Apparently that's not the case. What am I not doing right? I wouldn't mind maybe a nudge. Like, if there's a trick or like the way to win this board is like this game is by flipping the board or something dumb like that. Because I'm trying to solve this with logic. Because I've played chess. I'm not half bad at chess. What am I missing? Man, fuck this game. <laughs> Okay, let me just postulate and think about this while I hold my, swell my glass of whiskey menacingly. Hmm. Maybe there's another way, but this is a legit chess puzzle. Okay. Menacingly and respectfully, indeed. Hmm, while I pontificate over this strange puzzle that's before me. Okay, so I've tried moving the queen left and right in a number of different directions. She's just sitting there menacingly. Okay, it feels like we need to stop the king from moving side to side. So let's move the queen here, like before. Because that was... felt that it was correct. If we move the rook there... Then it's to take the pawn. And then that checkmates the king. No wait, then it would be the king's turn... To get rid of us. Okay. Let me give that a try though and see what happens. Okay, no cursing. No cursing. I will not curse, okay? You can't just swell the glass. I could swell my glass of whiskey as menacingly as I damn well please. Damn doesn't count as a curse word. That's like baby's first curse word, okay? <laughs> mm. This is a Christian chess stream. <laughs> Okay, so that was one try. It felt like moving the queen into that position was correct. Oh yes, this, this is the perfect time to redeem that. So let's move that back into position. I'm so glad we killed Raphael la uh, last stream because I could imagine him just lurking over my shoulder just like, hmm, you know if you took a word of wisdom from me, I would be able to assist with this. And Silacia just swats him away like an angry fly. Just go away, you prick. Because I think we tried this with, like, moving the queen here and moving the rook there, and then that wasn't right. Let's give that another try, though, because I... I'm struggling to see what's wrong with mo this doing this move. What am I not seeing here? Because there isn't enough time to take to move the pawns forward. Unless it's something small, like you have to move one of the pawns slightly. Okay, let's try moving the rook first. Because this didn't seem to work either. 
Yeah, it says it's not correct. Like, moving the rook first into that position isn't correct. I actually wouldn't mind a hint, just because this is like... I am I would normally like spend hours upon hours like trying to figure this out, but I want to keep things moving at a reasonable pace for my streams. So... Hmm. Oh, it's all good, Doge. We're all trying- we're all trying to figure this out. I have a feeling everyone in chat who's watching this at the moment is just staring at the screen like... Trying to, like, move the pieces in their own heads. Hmm. Okay, every move needs to put the king in check. Okay. Okay, that is helpful, actually. So that was correct. So what would be the next logical thing to put the king in check here? Because moving this wasn't right. And I th thought we tried moving the queen here, but that wasn't correct. So yeah, if I move the queen over this way, then in the next turn the king takes the queen. If I move this in that direction... I thought I tried this though. I'm If I then move the rook forwards, then next turn king takes, qu king takes rook. But then the queen is also in position to take the king. But I thought we tried that and that wasn't correct. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic. Um, what am I not seeing with this? I'm going to give this another try, because this seems the most logical reason that this would work. Yeah, it says that's not correct. What am I missing? Because that would put the king into check. Am I, am I overthinking this? Am I being an idiot and overthinking this? Okay, looking at the board like this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's hold the board like this. What do you guys think is the next move? Because it's kind of awkward with my me rotating the camera, but let's keep it at this fixed angle. What is the next step? Because the queen's in the correct position. If you have Gale with you, he'll tell you what to do. Of course he fucking would. Gail, can you help me with chess, please? Okay, that's okay. I appreciate the uh, fun little in-joke, uh, Jazzy. Like, that's not necessarily like a spoiler. That's just like, hey, that's like a fun little hint for maybe a future playthrough. Good to know. Because, yeah, we tried moving the queen and that wasn't correct. So 
Some people say moving, uh, moving from one two spaces that the one that's next to Will, uh, like this one, because it's only when it's on like the f furthest row that it can be moved forward two spaces. Let's give that a try because we haven't tried that yet. That's not correct, apparently. Not on my mind. And, well, in it. Okay, let's get the queen back into position, because that was right. I did try that before. I did move the rook up next to the king, but then the king took the rook, and then that wasn't correct. Queen to d8. Okay. One... D. I can't move the queen to d8 from my count. Queen to d1, okay. I thought we already tried this. A, B, C, D. Okay, apparently I didn't try that. I was so sure that I had already tried that, but never mind. We got there in the end. Okay. The king has fallen. Huzzah! Yay! Be on my way. Okay. I'm sorry that that, felt, uh, that probably felt a lot longer than it actually was. Um, but I was just trying to wrap my brain around, like, what am I not getting with this? Vador and Umglir are gone. Our hubris is evident. Elementals took us by surprise. There are still three of us. For now. Okay, we eventually got there. And that's what matters. I'm glad that we could all put our brains together and solve that one as a team. That was actually really fun. Here goes nothing. Paintings hung on the wall. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Restore the balance of justice. Justice. No pardon without repentance, and no penalty without mercy. The right path often lies between the extremes. Mercy, please. Justice should be a harsh lesson. All the better to deter the next vagabond. Okay, I would normally agree with almost everything Astarian says, but I would say Will is in the sense of like this, what uh, they would be asking or expecting here. Will's probably in the right position for this. Like, I love Astarian, but maybe that's a touch too harsh for this. Wise indeed, though I can't take credit. It was my father who taught me the ways of the just. All I can imagine is a starry just rolling his eyes super dramatically, just like, oh, of course he did. <laughs> yeah, a starry was a magistrate and apparently not a popular one. He was a dick. <laughs> General Past Adventures number two. I hadn't expected puzzles. Is the great worm really hidden behind tests of this kind? I mean, I'd expect feats of strength, yes, but nothing like this. Like it was designed for sport. Okay, let's look at the puzzles. The judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. chase. A red-haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. A 
cloaked woman, hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. Okay, it feels like we're looking at these in reverse, but um, I will do my best to pin this together. The theft. A red-haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders, thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. It's an astrolabe of entrapment. It could hold a dozen gin within it, perhaps even more. Okay. The induction. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it. Tally marks totaling the number nine. The child. A red-haired man is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered, giving an apple to a smiling urchin. There's the apple again. Several other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open-air market. You know this market, the wide, where Baldur's Gate citizens and visitors gather to conduct trade and wax political. Absolutely, I agree. The Renaissance or uh, Renaissance era uh, style for all the paintings. It's really quite beautiful. Like, this is amazing. Okay, so from what I can tell from what they're trying to describe is that uh, he initially stole an apple to, feel, to feed a child, probably an impoverished child, then spoke to this woman who, was, who enticed him or suggested to him to steal this very powerful artifact, possibly with the interest of uh, self, like more to maybe line his own pockets with coin rather than like as a gesture of kindness of giving an apple to a hungry child um but then because he was motivated by greed and not empathy that's when he receives punishment for it also then it implies the woman set him up as well with her watching him being pursued through the streets with the artifact and then the judge being paid off because his pockets are lined with coin let's have a look at this one again the judgment a stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. So, the follower, the, the thread of the apple being consistent in both the first and last paintings maybe implies that it's a reminder of theft without, or theft or committing crime that isn't with like a like stealing a loaf of bread to feed a hungry family kind of motivation as opposed to stealing an artifact to with the motivation of greed um because you're going to be paid off or receive wealth uh for committing a crime okay let's this is one of those things where i'm happy to like reload again and again because i just want to see what they say first Have a word. Shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Okay, what else can they interact with in this space? Torch. The shadows are blocking me. Mm. I need to get rid of them somehow. The waiting judgment. Okay, here we go. Huh. Do I have anything? Because oh, we haven't picked up anything. Waiting judgment. Because it doesn't imply that we pick up one of the paintings and put them there, but we can't seem to interact with anything else around the space.
Hmm. And there isn't any other paintings in the space from what I can see. Do we happen to have an apple in our inventory? Sorry, I didn't mean to press that. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Oh shit, you've still got all of Lazelle's stuff. We need to give that back to her. Sharp as ever. Keep a blade close. Looking ahead. Huh. Cursed to put my hands on everything. Okay. That feels a little bit unfair if, like, the solution is an apple. Like, you should be able to then maybe find one in this area. Like, it doesn't make logical sense because it would have rotted away ages ago. But the waiting judgment. Is there anything around here that should be connected to something else? Because it doesn't seem that we can pick up anything. Feet. Or like some kind of implication of like, okay, this is what you need to solve the puzzle, but... Because, yeah, we can't pick up the paintings, so that's not right. The waiting judgment. Because the only other thing we picked up was the Journal of Past Adventures. Does that work? No. What is the solution to this one? Because I can't see anything in this room that we can pick up. Yeah, I agree. It would be really cool if maybe Astarian could add like a little bit more into this or give a bit of insight um, because he was a magistrate. Skill, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, I'll have a look at the last painting again. Hey, Vince, how's it going? Thank you so much for the eight month the resub. A thank you so much, I appreciate it. His pockets full of coin orders a red haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. Eight months of me supporting the Steffi Steph, and I forgot to give her the biggest hug since she's the bestest buddy in the whole world. I need to fix that last part. Hell yes, Vince. I miss you so much, and big hugs to you as well. Okay, shadow on the last one. Yeah, it feels like the apple is maybe significant, but I don't have an apple on me. All I've got is, like, reagents and other food. And seven hands, apparently. Let's get rid of that. You're right. That is one thing we do have is we have coins. Okay, let's get a gold piece. And put that in there, because that is one thing that we do have on us. Let's give that a try. Thank you for the suggestion. Yes, that is very smart. Let's give that a try. Please? Please, may this be correct. What? Okay, come on. Oh. Apparently that's not correct. Please tell me I don't have to give all of my gold. <laughs> Please. No, the judge has spoken. The crime must be punished. Begone. The sword of justice falls on the wicked. 
I, I don't have any silver, they just have gold pieces in this game. Maybe I can try Electrum instead. <laughs> Fuck Electrum. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, and I, I, I know I said I dropped an F-bomb, but I think I was only doing the no cursing for like 10 minutes. I think it's like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, it's been plenty of time. I'm, I'm allowed to curse again. Oh, I don't want to attack the judge just yet. Do we put a different weapon there or something? Hang on. There we go. Keep all my gold organized. Huh. There's no time to waste. It's not a sword either. Get you a quick of that again. There we go. Can't give up now. Huh. Time to press ahead. Because I can look closer at them, but oh, but that will fit in my bag. The shadows are blocking me. Mm. I need to get rid of them somehow. I need to get rid of the shadows in order to pick up or interact with the paintings. The shadows are blocking yep. me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Do I need to kill the judge? Okay, I'm gonna quick save and then try attacking the judge. Okay, the judge is obscuring paintings within six meters, preventing judgment and being passed on a cursed soul. Okay, let's try attacking the judge. Doesn't react, isn't hostile, so that's not correct. Oh, gods, what is this one? Like, these are all very clever puzzles. Um, but as someone who plays D&D &D regularly and knows how it feels to have, like, a puzzle set before you by a DM, and either managing to beat it in like half the time that they expected to or being stuck there for hours upon hours trying to figure it out this is the ladder okay did someone say dming dnd &D? yes because this feels like a puzzle that a dm would throw at you just trying to figure it out and it's driving me insane! I wouldn't mind a hint. Just to keep the momentum moving, I wouldn't mind a hint of maybe what direction I should be looking at. Because we've tried gold, we've tried so a sword, um, where it says to put the waiting judgement. We can't pick up the paintings, I can't remove the paintings that are shadowed, and the judge doesn't react to being attacked, and he just seems to be repeating what he's saying. So that's why I'm kind of scratching my head like, okay, this is different from chess where there is a solution. This feels more like, okay, what am I not seeing here? What's next, I wonder? Okay, Shatterheart, does your Light of Lathander affect this at all? And sword. Sunbeam does nothing. I can't target the paintings. Radiant immune to radiant damage, so that's not right.
Yeah, rain damage isn't doing anything. I'm just going to load my previous save. Um, just so I don't burst burn through Sunbeam. I did see the hint of maybe try curing. I, I can't target undead with that, so. Huh. Because we've tried Sunbeam, which is a light spell or creates like My a beam of light. Ra Sacred Flame didn't work. All these other light or radiant spells didn't work. I don't have daylight. Gale has daylight. No time to rest. Because it doesn't make logical sense that the thing that would be the answer, the answer to this puzzle would be like one very specific spell that maybe only like two or three party members could potentially learn. Let's examine the judge again. So, Shrouded Sentence, the judge is obscuring paintings within six meters, preventing judgment being passed on an accursed soul. So, we need to remove that in order to look at the other paintings. Well, it's sunlight. It says it has a weakness to sunlight, but I don't have anything that I think cast sunlight transposition what am I to do and like Shadowheart literally cast sunbeam at him and it did nothing let's try sacred flame because I can't target the paintings. And that doesn't work. Fuck you, Boulder and your stupid fucking puzzles. Mm. Not dead, maybe. Okay, no there me. we go. Okay, finally got it. Okay, let's have a look at this. The hanging. A red-haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. You notice a child in the crowd. A falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. Freedom. A red-haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his hood, and a golden coin in his hand. A thief walks free. Is this truly justice? The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten-day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. I think it's the cell. I think the cell is the correct one. Because it's between... It's not as severe as a death sentence, and it's not as hopeful as being let free. But the cell means that you're still serving time for your crimes. But... It's not as severe as a death sentence. There we go. The principle of the sentence being proportional to the crime. We did it, guys. Paragon of justice. Proceed. 
Indeed we are. It just took us for fucking ever to figure this out, but we eventually got there. Also, I see this very interesting hidden path. Is this a hidden path? Yes, it is. Let's see what this does. Oh, will there be enemies nearby? Let's have a little look around regardless. Chamber of Insight. Oh, this is cool. What's inside? The Five Year War. The Five Year War by Torwin Vass. The war was, in truth, nothing short of a tragedy. It began as a mild, mild altercation between the sanguine sons of the Aelo and Vita families regarding, if you can believe it, the proper ownership of a sheep farm. Over the course of three seasons, full-blown conflict had erupted between Baldur's Gate and Victon, a pointless war, leaving both cities with nothing but a thousand youthful corpses to show for it. I want to talk to one of these books. They keep moving. Oh, you have to be quick in order to get them. Okay. Sletto's Ethics of War. The Ethic of War by Christina Sletto. My colleague uh, Amaps proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies, then, once they have fallen into our might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when surrender is offered? Indeed not, for what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them and masses them once again along our borders. We shall wage war another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. Once our enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be raised to the ground, and then we can be free of its spectre. Interesting. Okay. I see those sinister characters lurking down there. Maybe this is like Baldwin's own, own personal study or something. This text reads in subject on Baldoran, a sailor of exquisite renown who founded the city of Baldur's Gate many years ago. The prose is colourful but a little too self-satisfied around the edges, and the novel would be unremarkable but for one small entry about halfway through. Baldoran claimed a guardian and friend, Answer. Bright what Answer scales are brighter still his breath. Yet after a betrayal too pierced to recount here in worthy detail, Answer fled beneath the stone, thereby changing the name of the region he now slumbers under to match his draconic lineage. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Okay, you're not interested in attacking me, so I kind of just want to let you be. If you're just standing there menacingly, I'm just not going to initiate combat just in case we need to fight something else later on. But is this another trial? It says Chamber of Insight, so this feels like it's a trial, maybe. A good leader has the insight to find good counsel. As a war reaches its end, there is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. Okay. Jalela, thank you so much for the for the subscription. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for joining us tonight, and thank you for the support. Thank you. A child of acrylic, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Oh my god, has it already been two hours? Are you actually kidding me? Thanks for the stretch check, guys. Oh, and sorry, I didn't do the one earlier from Vince. Thank you, thank you. I need water. Like, we've been here for two hours, and I think about an hour each of that has been spent on those two puzzles. Okay, so two were offering good counsel, and the, and the third one was a bit more... tricky. Okay, who are they again? We have Soleto, Amaps, and Stead. 
Very well. Okay, that's one one of Stead's books. Oh, hold still, will you? Oh, hold still, will you? Okay. Can I shoot at it? I shot at the book, but I didn't get to pick up the book. Okay, I think Stead is the incorrect one. Because that one drew blood and I couldn't actually hold on to it. Because we could hold on to Sloeto's Ethics of War. My colleague at MAPS proposes, proposes fair rules of engagement at times of war and forgiveness upon victory. That sounds reasonable. Are we to spare our enemies then once they have fallen to our might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when surrendered is offered? Oh, indeed not. For what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and masses them again uh, along our borders? We shall wage another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own, own magnanimity. Once the enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be raised to the ground. Only then can we be free of its spectre. Okay, I think Sloeto is the one we need to snuff out then. Sloeto. There we go. An insightful decision. The tree of peace bore lasting fruit. Proceed. We did it, guys! Time flies when you're having chess. Indeed it does. And that is all four trials done. Oh, amazing. Oh, we are the best. Let us in. Let us in! Fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose. Guidance born of ancient wisdom proven. Peace, not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule. Leave not the guiltless lamb to bloody slaughter, nor cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead, your allies close, your rivals stunned in dread. Worthy you are found. Go forth, hero. Seize your fate and rise, great worm, heart of the gate. We did it! Oh, we're amazing. Great worm is nothing but bone and memories. I doubt that. There's something else going on here. Oh, but that is so beautiful, though. Oh, dragons are such beautiful creatures. Yes, I knew it. The dragon spirit floods your mind and memory in a great torrent of power. He is with you. He is within you. He is you. The next words that spill from your mouth are not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Okay, search your mind for what possesses it. Okay. And so wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet 
thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansel senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? I mean you no harm. Just let me go. A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral Oh, prison, shit. And in you, calm, curious, and detached. Presence has stirred me as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer me. It's been too long. Oh my god, what? Order. No, I don't believe it. What? I'm just lying there, full on like my back kind of breaking open as just like light and fire is pouring out of my face. Can someone please explain to me what's going on? We knew each other once, long ago. We crossed the Kalim together and sailed Yal Tengri. We built a city by the sea. Ansa was my friend. Friend, yes, and more. Oh my God. Until you killed me. Oh fuck, okay. Have you come to dance on my bones, Borderan? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your throne before me. Far has the great border and fallen. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna put like Silas, she's prideful, but she's not that prideful, especially in this situation. Answer the question, Mind Flayer. You owe it to both of us. Stillness. Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear. Answer. Enough! I gave you everything, Bolaran. And you repaid me in slaughter. Holy shit. I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Bolaran. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. Oh my god, are we gonna have to kill- Are we gonna have to fight the dragon? Oh my god, okay! Oh no, I might have to come back better prepared for this because I did not expect this. Okay. Okay, landed a crit. Okay. Disengage. Get the fuck out of there. Get some space. Slice before me. Are you fucking getting the more myrmidons? We're fighting a dragon in a dungeon. Holy shit, that's this is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfection. I 
Well, they can cast a uh, flame strike though. That's pretty pretty great. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Charisma. Let's do con checks. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, she's taken a couple of really bad hits. We should have done a Hero's Feast before coming down here. That's fine, I guess. Another flame strike, maybe. Another quick potion. Okay. Oh, my beautiful bird. Sarian. Let's get you a better position. Maybe about here. Tormented. Not amazing, but that's fine. Okay, I wanted to see if I could break that crystal and get some resistance. That's okay. Thorns could have gone better, that's fine. Get a fireball on you. Oh, that does only a tiny bit of damage. That's fine. This is fine. Let's get everyone healed up. There we go, this one of the Myrmidons is gone. Aha! Lightning breath, okay, good to know. Oops. Hang on. Don't know why that suddenly vanished from that, that's fine. Survival is all that matters. Okay. Oh. I have an arrow of dragon slaying. Come on, where is it? Elemental, monstrosity, aberration, humanoid. I thought I had one of dragon slaying. Sure's in here somewhere. Come on. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna try using planar binding on the water myrmidon and get it to our side. Okay, that worked. I've lost concentration on uh, 
Hunter's Mark, that's fine. We at least have an extra ally in this. Sorry, didn't mean to target you, Shadowheart. That's okay. And let's get a planar ally as well. Yes, 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 yes. Can't give up. Not now. Okay, and let's do a kill wounds on myself at highest level I can. Shanghai, you're not doing amazing, but that's fine. Good. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here a little bit. Uh, so they say you take cover up here. I'll strike you down. Will, you need to take cover. Let's get you behind there. Back behind cover. And Shadowheart, you take cover behind there. And another potion. Is that enough? And Bird, you try and hide with, hide with Shadow Heart, please. May this be enough. Okay. It could have been worse. We took a hit, but it could have been worse. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Come on, can't stay idle. Nice. We're slowly getting there. Well, you're fine over there. Shadowheart, can you get everyone? Okay, you need to get out of there. Heading there. Okay, can't quite get Will. Okay, that's a bonus action. It's an action to dash. Let's just get you into position where you can target everyone. There we go. There we go. Come on.
That's why we got out of there. Okay. Everyone get out of there. Hang on. So at least you're, you're at least out of there, that's fine. Come on. Uh, you should probably get out of there. That would be a good idea. Okay, what else? Raise a fire. Eldritch Blast is better, I think, in this circumstance. Nice, got a crit off that. That's good. Shadow Heart. Let's get you there. At least out of that immediate damage and sunbeam this sh should work nice very nice uh do we have we don't have a spiritual weapon up so let's get one of those on the field okay 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 come on oh i'm so glad i picked the gin as well because they're immune to lightning damage absolutely yes 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 Okay, but we're almost there. He has like under 100 hit points. We might even be able to defeat him in this round. If we do, holy shit. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Four hit points left. Come on. Yes! Oh my gods! What have you done? Holy shit, yes. Joe, thank you so much for the bits. I, I never thought I'd see him again. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Joe, thank you so much for the 30 bits. Stephanie, I cannot believe how much you bossed this fight. This is one of the hardest encounters in the game, and you nailed it first try. Fuck yes, we nailed this first try without a long rest without all of our spell slots ready so fuck yes thank you so much joe for the 30 bits i really really appreciate it thank you thank you so much and okay this is one of my proudest victories of fuck yes first try considering we already burned through a number of spells with that first try trial that we went through oh my god i am so proud of how we pull that off fuck yes oh this is a victory and a half Okay, so Emperor, you have a lot of lot to answer for. So it's true. You're Baldoran. I was. Now I am much, much more. But it seems you are more interested in my past. You literally founded Baldur's Gate. Of course I'm interested. Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to found Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow. But it was not enough. 
I grew restless again. The sea clung to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Don't you feel bad about killing the one who saved you? Of course I do. More so because it was Ansor. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. Oh, no. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Is being an Illithid really worth the loss of a friend? Quite simply, yes. And being alive even more so. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. One nether stone remains. We must find it. Before the brain breaks free. Okay. Ah. Oh. And here I go. So we don't have an answer. Okay. Well, um, what are your thoughts on this? Ansur is dead. There will be no great tempest roaring through the skies. No dragon redeemer to save us. What hope then for Baldur's Gate? Without the Great Worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? You braved the Worm's lair, seeking a savior. Yet it was you, all of you, who vanquished the undead abomination which Ansur became. You are more powerful than you understand. It is you who are the Tempest. It is you who are the heart of the Gate. Ansur is dead. There will be no great tempest roaring we just through the skies. Have that? What hope then for Baldur's Gate? Without the Great Worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? You brave, you are more. It is you who are the. You're right. There we go. Don't know why it repeated we it twice. We are the warriors who will slay the Absolute. We are the guardians who will defend this fair city. Here, here. Victory will be ours. We will smite the Absolute. Yes! The brain will fall, and the people will hail us as champions. I could even claim my father's own ducal title and carry his banner after this. Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, Marshal of the Flaming Fist, the yes. city's truest defender. Hell yes. <laughs> you think the city will welcome you as Grand Duke? Horns and all? <laughs> The Absolute's end would be the guarantee. Devilish visage be damned. 
If I were to call myself Grand Duke, no patriarch would deny the claim. Very true. Imagine the good you could do as Grand Duke. It's always been your destiny. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. These were the lessons my father taught me. Baldur's Gate is my home, and I am its servant. I will be relentless in my pursuit of the greatest good. The Blade of Frontiers is no more. I will be Will Ravengard, son of Alder, proud Duke of Baldur's Gate. Hail Grand Duke Will Ravengard. Grand Duke Ravengard! Fuck yes. Will's courage and enthusiasm warms the air. With him at your side, the road ahead doesn't look so insurmountable. Hell yes. Oh, it's it sucks that we don't have a dragon, but it's okay. <gasps> Baldur's Giant Slayer. On a hit, double the damage from your strength modifier. This weapon grants you advantage on attack rolls against large, huge, or gargantuan creatures. Ooh. Karlak, we have a present for you. Dear Answer. Dear Answer, I've said it a thousand times and I'll say it again. There is no cure and that's all right. I'm fine. More than fine. I'm better than I've ever been. So why torture yourself like this? Of course, I know why. Remember Jarl Tengri. You and I sailed together for months seeking the Great Spire. By the time we found it, we were sick as dogs. But you never left my side, not for a moment. Even though you could have simply chosen to fly. You told me there was something about experiencing it with me, through my eyes. You wanted to share in my passion for the adventure. It was, you said, a privilege. The truth is, the privilege was mine. You are the greatest thing that had, has ever happened to me, Answer. I never had to ask you for anything, but I'm asking you now to stop. I may no longer feel my feelings, but I know yours and yours are agony. It doesn't have to be this way. Be free, Answer. Fly. And know that even if I'm not beside you, I will always have been your boulder <laughs> That makes me sad. We'll speak to Will in just a second. Oh, I was hoping we would get a dragon friend too, but you know what? That's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Helm of Baldurin. The Helm of Baldurin. The worm's tempest and his roar hurtle through you. Ansu's essence still lives within the helm, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. Okay, very cool. We'll get to that in a second. What does that do? Baldurin's vitality. The helmet heals you two hit points at the beginning of every turn. You have a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws. You can't be stunned. Attackers can't last land critical hits on the wearer. Okay, all of that sounds amazing for everyone. It's medium armor. I'm happy with my diadem. I think, honestly, that might be best utilized by Shadowheart. Because as, like, the cleric and the healer... Just being able to heal those like little bits of hit points every turn and also getting that plus one bonus to AC and saving throws and you can't be stunned. That would actually be really good for Shadowheart, so... The hell? I, you, you just remarked it's the Helm of Alderaan. It's very, very cool. We get it. Okay, yes, this, that's hidden. Tempest and his answer's essence. Yep, we just picked that up. It's very, very cool. Maybe this is just like a, a maybe a little bit of a hiccup bug that came with uh, the latest patch. So it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe Will has the same conversation we had before. If so, I'll just jump through it. So, grand there we go. To be, is it? Should I bow or do a little curtsy, perhaps? Ah, oh, forget the curtsy. I'd rather a cheap brown ale and a hunk of fresh venison. You in? <laughs> of course. 
Sounds better than most noble feasts. Hmm. Sounds heavenly. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Uh, you hunt the deer, I'll scrounge up the ale. Prepare your belly for a roast a raven ravengar. <laughs> Let's hope Gale doesn't take offense if I assume cooking duties just the once. What are your plans once you're instated as Grand Duke? If I'm to be a Grand Duke, I've got to greet the people and gain their trust. First, we mourn. We bow our heads for the fallen and honor them by pledging peace. Next, we heal the city. We restore our broken buildings stone by stone. We restore faith in each other, one good turn at a time. Then we open the gates to the refugees, restore diplomatic ties. Baldur's Gate will again be the jewel of the coast. Okay. I also had a thought. Um, we don't actually... I haven't actually taken the time to get armor and a weapon for Minsk. And I think Minsk wields, like, great swords or, like, heavy swords and weapons and stuff. So that might also work to like give the great sword to him as well and Carlac -like holds out onto the one that we got from the uh I know he's got a, a very fancy name but the person that we defeated who was like the uh very connected to ba uh to Baal okay we just we already looked at that that's fine let's get back to camp and take a long rest and I think we're going to wrap things up okay and then that's how to quickly get back into Ansa's lair Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, but before we do that, let's uh, get out of here and dismiss uh, our summons. That should have worked. There we go. Still alive, so that's progress. So I'm not sure if moving through the prison with the gin and a cabin would probably go? be good. Can't risk being in open view. Okay, let's get out of here. Here goes nothing. Cause yeah, it's coming up to three hours, so I'm gonna be calling it a night. Let's get back. Uh There we go. Let's get out of here. Oh. One thing, though. Let's get to uh, Basilisk Gate, and let me just check. Because I'm not sure if, like, the hag thing is on a particular time of where it has to be done in the same day. To be fair, that's been sitting for a while. So I'm a little nervous, like, oh, we should probably, like, figure out what's going on with that one. Um, yeah. May let's maybe head down to the docks and just save the game there rather than do a long rest and then go down there. Just because I'm worried then because we started to activate that quest. If then, like, oh, you started doing this and then all of a sudden, oh, no, because you took a long rest, now the kid's dead. <laughs> one day I'll catch a break. Uh, why is everyone highlighted? Okay, must be a little weird hiccup, that's fine. Okay, that's the foundry. Yeah, let's just head down to the docks. Okay, it was the Blushing Mermaid, that was it. Have we come past that already? Oh, please. 
It's a tavern by the dockside, so it could be also around here, maybe. That's Philgrave's mansion. I don't think there's any other docks. It could be also maybe around here. Doesn't seem to be highlighted on the map. Oh, there it is, the Blushing Mermaid. Okay, let's head a bit closer then. Breeze must be blowing in land today. Yep, let's just get to outside the Blushing Mermaid and then we'll save because we took a short rest, so we'll be fine. There we go. We did burn through a ton of uh, spell slots though. So I kind of do want to take a long rest. But if it's only like, okay, let's, oh, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to pause it for a second. People who have played this uh, before or done this quest, do you know if it's one of those quests that is affected by doing a long rest before going to maybe go after the hag? Or is it, um, is it fine to take a long rest now and then come back down here? Because there's a couple of quests that are affected by taking a long rest between certain points of activation or certain, like, progression within a quest. I just want, like, this isn't one of, like, the super important ones, but I just wanted to check. Just because I wanted to wrap things up for tonight, um, but I didn't want to accident. I don't think it's time sensitive. Okay. Also, to be fair, because this isn't related to one of my party members, I'm happy, excuse me, to do a long rest now. And then we jump back here, like, we'll be right back here when we do... Uh, finish the long rest. Also, let's keep Will with us for a while, because we haven't uh, been out with Will for a bit. So, let's take a long rest. Another step forward. And then we can start fresh uh, for next Friday. Sleep. My tab is so pretty. I, ju I just love her so much. There we go. Everyone is good to go. Bright and early. Because we just defeated a fucking dragon. So we needed that rest. But with that, let us wrap things up for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. Uh, we will be continuing. Um, we'll Baldur's Gate 3 on uh, uh, next Friday. And next Sunday, of course. And then, what's today? Yeah, in one week, um, we're just going to be having two more streams and then I'm going to be going on break because I will be flying to Australia for Christmas and I'll be able to see my family. I said so at the start of the stream. Um, so that means that I'll be taking the rest of December off and I will also be taking January off. I'll be posting a full announcement on my socials on the particular dates of that um, because I was originally thinking of doing my... Uh, uh, my Q&A uh, similar to how I did it last year where it was during December I celebrated hitting 40k um, with a December Q&A stream but just because like as I said before there was some stuff that I wanted to uh, work on behind the scenes and hopefully show you guys um, I want a little bit more time to kind of get things organized for that just to make 50, my 50k Q&A just that little extra bit special because I've also been busy trying to get things taken care of um, before I go away so let's uh, put a pin in that and we'll uh, just keep an eye on my socials for when I do announcements for when I do do that particular Q&A um, but for now thank you so very much for joining me tonight I will hopefully see you on Friday for more Baldur's Gate 3 and the following Sunday for more Baldur's Gate 3 but thank you so much for joining me if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far please consider following we would love to have you back you are welcome anytime be sure to check out my other socials that are popping up in the chat right now including my two Twitch, uh, my two YouTube channels one for my ASMR tales and for the other for my Twitch VODs thank you so much to everyone who gave so much love to uh, my my latest ASMR tale that came out last night. Um, I had so much fun working with Dark and Twisted Whisper and Yuri Voice uh, on my latest audio. 
they're absolutely delightful to work with and so be sure to give them lots of love if you also enjoy ASMR tales with a kind of fantastical element but all of it is just amazingly acted they're very talented and it was a pleasure to work with them and be sure to check out my Twitter my Insta and my TikTok so let's see who's currently live and we'll send them some love and let's go say hi to Brian and Amelia over at Deckard Games. Jazzy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. You're just in time for the raid. We're just going to jump over to uh, Brian and Amelia over at Deckard Games. But thank you so much for joining me tonight, my lovelies. I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead. And remember, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always, stay working and wonderful. Good night, my lovelies.